welcome to my channel. My name is Venetia Alexander Marshall and welcome. If you are new here, hi, how are you? Don't forget, hit the notification bell at the bottom. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so every time I'm uploading a new video, you are notified. My daughter just said, you're vlogging. Yeah, I'm vlogging. I'm resting. I'm tired. My body's tired. It's Memorial Day and she's cooking today. I just did. I just did. <laughs> so yes, my daughter is cooking. My son is in his room. So I'm finally trying to get back to myself. I'm not gonna show her cooking cause she's literally like right there. What? Y'all, she making jambalaya for the first time. <laughs> I told you, do you put the olive oil in there? You put the olive oil in there? I don't know why you shake. Why you shaking up olive oil? You don't shake up olive oil. And why you putting it on the stove? That's enough. Yes, that's enough. All right. <laughs> See, my daughter is cooking. Hi. Don't my put me on the camera. Show on the camera. <laughs> Look, because I could put your girlfriend on there too. Cause I don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throw it around a little bit, make sure it heats up, and then you put your sausage in. Mm-hmm. Like I said, where, where your chicken at? You pull your chicken, you got your chicken? Where'd that come from? Walmart. It's already cooked? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got the breast? What kind is that? Oh, you got the whole, you got to pull it apart, baby, and take all the right, meat. All okay, right, okay, all right. Uh, you know what? I'm going in my room. <laughs> I'm gonna get me, you know what? I'm gonna get me a burger. Let me see. You got burgers? Yeah. How many? I'm trying to figure out why it's cooking so why the thing going so slow. And it's only heating up one side of the grill. That's usually what happened. Did you open the bits a little bit? Yeah. And it's Not still... all the way because you don't want everything to boil up. Yeah, it's open. Okay. Well, and it also could be what well, this usually the pretty good weather for I mean, it. Got a good smoke out there, so. Yeah, you're going to get a good smoke, but yeah, let it take some time. Yeah, usually that's what happened. And then all you're going to do is just move them down, but it's all going to go. No, it's going to go to the back. Yeah, that, that's usually what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're all right. As long as they don't burn. Because your hot dogs, you know, your hot dogs, you got to watch them. Because they cook fast and they will burn quick. She cooking, y'all. She cooking, she cooking, she cooking. <laughs> <sighs> yes, it is Memorial Day. Um, my husband went to the gym, so I am staying like this today. I'm so freaking tired. I'm tired. Okay? I'm tired. Y'all, I am ooh, about to fall. I'm tired. My body is tired. And I have all of these packages. I have all these packages I have received over the last... Let me see. Oh, I'm falling. I have all these packages I have received in the last couple of weeks and I have not opened no, actually almost a month and I have not opened nothing yes I'm watching diners drive-ins and dives perfect and people cooking and it's Memorial Day so yeah you know people cooking another thing I'm doing too y'all I'm trying to get used to these glasses um I think if you saw my last vlog well, I'm uploading that vlog right now so by the time this vlog goes up that vlog will already be up Boom. yeah let me see where it's at okay we are still uploading because it's a pretty long vlog i tried to shorten it as much as i possibly could with the vlog but it's over an hour and i tried to trim off as much as i could and i couldn't so it is what it is y'all i have boxes amongst boxes amongst boxes of stuff i have not opened and I have ordered stuff and I just haven't opened it. I just haven't. I have not been feeling it. And plus, my body has been tired. And of course, I told y'all, my son have been keeping us so busy. Mainly me. Keeping me so busy with AAU basketball. Been, like really, after our Chicago trip... Like, literally, it's like I didn't get a break. After our Chicago trip, um, we came back. 
I literally just unpacked my bag just to repack it again for the Houston trip. Um, now, the drive from here in Baton Rouge to Chicago is 14 hours. However, the drive from here to Houston is just four. Um, and then me and my husband ended up switch. Why is my daughter at the door? Try to tell this girl math. But anyway, before she walked in. Um, yeah, my husband and I swapped vehicles for um, the Houston trip because, as I told you in my last vlog, I've been spooked ever since somebody attempted to steal the catalyst converter out of my car. So I've been spooked ever since. So me and him swapped. And I'm going to tell you, and I told my husband, so glad we swapped vehicles. There were some guys, I guess they were looking at all the people that were coming to the hotel and they were literally like staking everybody out. And I'm telling you, had I bought my Mitsubishi, I wouldn't have a catalyst converter. So, when nobody about to touch that Acura. So, I took my husband's truck. Um, and what ended up happening in Houston, my son got hurt. Um, he started the game. And he went, you know, they have that padding on the wall. He hit the padding pretty hard. So, he shook it off. And he was okay. Um, but he collided with one of the players on the opposite team and hurt his knee. Yeah, so when they made the fast break, he couldn't make the fast break. He was literally like limping. So the referee went ahead and told his coach, go ahead and make a sub. And my husband, my husband, my son was in so much pain. Um, so I did, thank goodness there was a CVS right up the street from us. So I took him to CVS. Um, uh, we got some wrap, um... Got some tape for his knee. Um, what else? Um, he took a high bath and you know, trying to relax the muscles. And then one of the parents had some biofreeze, so he put some biofreeze on his knee as well. But he needed that rest. But of course, what he does does the second day, which was the last day, he hits the court hard. And of course, doesn't do anything but bang his knee. He shook it off and whatever. But once we got in that truck and got on the road, because literally after the tournament, we got on the road, came back home. He was in excruciating pain. So I did take him to the doctor the next day and they ended up giving him a shot and he felt just fine. But still, what happens? Basketball still ends up coming to a complete and abrupt halt for my son. Because my son, getting ready, they're transitioning. Um, he doing AAU and then they transition from AAU to play summer ball for their school and then he goes back into AAU. Not this boy. So they're practicing. They're at practice at the school, getting ready for the summer league. He gets into a fight with a teammate. And what does he do? Break his hand. So now he's in a cast for the next for what the doctor said five roughly five weeks but he said you really want me to take it there it's really going to take him six to eight weeks and i did tell him i said well what about physical therapy he is going to need physical therapy the doctor didn't think he would but i think he does he will need physical therapy to get his hand back and it's not just any hand it is his right hand he writes with that right hand and it's also his shooting hand but the young man he got into a fight with this young man had been picking on him the whole school year I mean, it had gotten so bad with, to the point this young man stole his belt, tried to steal his beats, tried to steal his phone. And it's like, it's something about my son this young man does not like or don't care. And my son has this thing about his mouth. He just got to run his mouth. And he shot off at the mouth at the boy, finally. And it was literally like, he had finally had enough. He had got fed up. And he shot off at the mouth. Got into a fight. The boy punched him in the eye first boy threw the first punch and it was a no holds barred he punched him in the head and that's how he broke his hand so now he's in a highlight a highlight yellow cast for roughly five weeks now and didn't think that yeah you got another aau game so we ended up going to the last game, which was in Biloxi. But his coach was like, well, he's going to be part of the coaching staff since he can't play. We're going to have him coaching. So that's what he did. We drove, And luckily, from here to Biloxi, ain't but two hours. So we drove there and then came on back home. So we commuted for both days because there wasn't no sense in getting a hotel. And let me tell you, the hotel rooms in Biloxi and Gulfport, Mississippi, baby, who got that kind of money? 
But I also understand it's the Memorial Day weekend, the Memorial Day holiday. But at the same time, them prices was already high. Like, right when people started to come out of COVID. Y'all. Mm-mm. No. 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 And one year, my husband and I went to go to Biloxi for our anniversary. The prices was just ridiculously high. We scrapped it and said, okay, you know what? We're going to go to that Nola. So that's what we did. We was trying to do something different. But, of course, we ended up going out of town but not leaving the state. So, of course, we went right there just a little hour away to New Orleans. So we went to New Orleans. And that's where we spent our anniversary that year was in um we spent the weekend in new orleans but we wanted to do something different because we go to new orleans all the time yeah so yeah so that's where i'm at now so my son is actually <clears throat> in his room um he was actually supposed to go somewhere with his girlfriend today and i think that ended up changing i don't know if they still going to the movie i don't know i think what ends up happening is i think they're just gonna stay home so my daughter is barbecuing and because they she wanted me to barbecue i said baby your mama need a break your mama tired mama mama tired mama tired so i told my husband i'm not changing i'm staying in my bed clothes today i'm staying with my hair wrapped up i had already washed all my clothes for the week for work and everything i'm tired so, in a way, it's horrible that my son broke his hand, but at the same time, kind of a blessing. And I hate to say that. Your girl need a break. Your, your girl body is exhausted. I'm tired. I have been traveling, 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 traveling since April. And the only time we didn't travel was um, when my son went to Atlanta for an AAU tournament, and we all had to work. Um, other than that, went to Chicago. Went to Houston. Now, I'm just coming back from Biloxi, commuting two days to, I'm back and forth to Biloxi. I'm your girl tired. And then they kick back off in July in Dallas, but he's more than likely not going because he's still going to be under doctor's care. So, he's not going to go to Dallas. So, I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. So, I'm still trying to upload this video. I'm telling you, this video is pretty long. It's a pretty long video. So I'm just going to sit here and finally gonna open up all my packages. So I'm going to do a massive. And when I tell you I got. I got a lot of stuff. Y'all. I got a lot of stuff here. I, I got. I, I got. I got a lot of stuff. But I'm also getting back into pop-up shops. <coughs> um, I'm getting back into pop-up shops. Um, I have a pop-up shop actually in june during the juneteenth weekend i have a pop-up shop um at southern university and every time i do a pop-up shop at southern university it's always a success um but i haven't done anything regarding vamp cosmetics because i have been in the midst of rebranding repackaging um i finally got my new labels my new labels uh, i needed some new labeling and everything i had to do some restock so a lot of my restock has finally come in i'm going to be introducing new products for Vamp Cosmetics, they're not going to be, I don't know, I'm going to test some of them this week um, to see how it is and if it's fine, if it's going to give me my stamp of approval and the people that I let test give them their stamp of approval as well, then I will go ahead and sell them, just not right now. Um, so right now I'm in a testing phase um, and see how it goes. Um, but I am going to be introducing some new products for you guys for Vam Cosmetics. So I hope you stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I'm getting ready to open up all these packages. I got so much stuff. I have, I have a lot of Amazon here. I got so much Amazon. It ain't even funny. I'm looking at the little smiley's face with the arrow. That's how much stuff I got. I got Amazon. Um, my Sephora package that was supposed to be here from my last vlog it came after the vlog was over it came um and i just it's just been sitting there ever since and i haven't opened it and since then um i ordered some more stuff from uh sephora and i got a lot of stuff coming from that from uh from sephora um i just i just did an order from ulta when i tell you i'm getting back into it i'm finally cleaning my makeup brushes finally and these makeup brushes just been sitting there. And I've been traveling with a lot of these makeup brushes. And I've just been swapping makeup brushes out. I have a lot of makeup brushes, but I'm starting to run a little low. I'm starting to run a little low. Um, so I'm finally doing some cleaning of my makeup brushes. Um, swapped out a lot of 
uh, like my paper towel, I, I swap that out. Um, yeah. So, we're getting ready to get into this haul. I'm going to place y'all down. I have my laptop up because it's still uploading. Let me see. Can I bring it down? I'll bring it down. It's still uploading. <coughs> so, yeah. So, let me prop y'all all right, so I got y'all propped up. I got y'all propped up. Yeah, I know. I look hideous. I look ridiculous. Everything. Y'all, I'm resting. I, 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 I need a break. I need a break. Um, and I'm also trying to get used to my new glasses. These are my readers. I have this for reading. So these are just going to have to do not right now because I've been in my laptop um, for most of the morning. And also catching up on videos. So many videos and so many people that I watch on YouTube. I have not paid attention to. I've been doing a little catching up on TikTok. I haven't been on TikTok and God knows how long. Um, some of the people that like some of the regulars on TikTok are starting to see. I'm starting to come back and they starting to comment. Um, one very popular TikToker. I watch all her content and um, I follow her. And she's also my friend on TikTok as well. Um, so she's seen that I'm commenting now on stuff. So now she's starting to comment back to me. And she's like a very, 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 very popular, um, TikToker. She can be a little controversial sometimes. They don't bother me because she cool. Um, I like her. I really like her a lot. Like her and her husband. Because her and her husband be on TikTok. I ain't gonna give the name. But if you know who I'm talking about, she, she cracks me up. Her husband cracks me up a lot. I'm opening up my labels. Um, for Vam Cosmetic, that's what I'm doing. Um, I ordered this a while back. Plus, I ordered some other labeling stuff from Vam Cosmetics. I think I didn't bring it back here. I'm finally starting. And these are really right here what I'm doing. It's just re-ups on stuff that I needed because I was like, yes. Because I was out. Yeah. Oh, they finally changed their stuff. Cool. They finally changed it. Right. I'm not going to show you because I can't, I can't give you away. All my secrets for Vam Cosmetics. People be want me to. But I'm not going to give away all my secrets. Cool. They changed their packaging a little bit. So I'm not going to give away my secrets on that for Vam Cosmetics. Because you got to do your own. And I have also learned too. That I don't give away too much business stuff. Because people. You give away too much business stuff. They end up capitalizing on it. And instead of giving you credit. They'll take it up for, for themselves. So that's why some people be like. Well we try to ask questions about business. And they don't like you telling us how they did this. Not this. Because y'all be thieves out here. When it comes to business. And y'all end up wanting to take it for yourself. And people like me that's been around. We ain't up for that. We finally get tired of that. So I don't tell them anything. Like my packaging, how I do this, how I do that, products, testing products. They want to wear you, who's your manufacturer, who's this, who's that. I don't tell them nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. Because you got people that are just that trifling. Just that trifling. What am I going to, oh, I'm gonna, let me look at this too. I ordered this a while back too. I'm not going to show you this just yet. This is also for um, Found Cosmetics. I'm going to test these out. I'm not going to show you what it is just yet. Um, you know, my brand is very, very um, affordable. So, yeah, I'm going to test these out. So, I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that over here. Y'all can't see that. I can't have y'all seeing that. My bag y'all up just a little bit. Yeah, my bag y'all up just a little bit. I can't have y'all see that. <laughs> so, this... It is from Amazon. What is this? What? Orders. Oh, I know what this is. Yes. That's how it's coming. I ordered a new shower curtain. Because we need a new. I, I want, I'm trying to change our bathroom. Yes, this is the new shower curtain. Yes. I don't know if you can see. So it's kind of like white at the top. It's white at the top, and then it's gray at the bottom. Um, I think I'm going to need to buy a new liner. Yes, because it did not come. Did it come with a liner? No, it did not come with a liner. It's from a brand. What's the name of the brand? Because they put my address over the brand. So I can't show you it out the package. It's going to show you my address. I don't need you. From a brand called West, it's a Westlake. That's the name of it. It is a shower curtain. 100% polyester. That's what I got. 
because I told my husband we need another shower curtain. I've had that shower curtain in there right now for I had that shower curtain for a couple of years. And it's one of those shower curtains. I got it from Dollar General, I think. Either got it from Dollar General or Target. I got it from one of them. I think I got it from Dollar General. And this is good quality. Very good quality. So I uh, and it's like white and navy blue and um white and navy blue Girl got some accents of gray and then I have a clear liner on the inside. Yeah, I got it from Doll um Fa Dollar General. That's where I got it from. Because I want to say it costs like ten bucks or something like that. Um, but it's very good quality and you can it's um, machine washable. So, um, I have washed it. So, I told my husband it's time for us to get another um, shower curtain because I want to change the color. I want a new scheme in there because I also got a new um, rug for our bathroom. So, I said I was going to change all that. So, yeah. I got this shower curtain. I can get the links. I'm going to try my best and link everything in the bottom of the description box. I know I'm in the way. So I'm sitting in the bed. That That's literally, y'all, that's how tired I am. I am so, so, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm, I'm real tired. But yes, this is my shower curtain. You know what? I ain't going to be so pristine. I'm just going to do this because I'm about to take it right back out and hang it up. Alright, got that out the way. Next! Sephora. This is what I should have gotten, but in my vlog that I uploaded, just uploaded, um, it was supposed to be here already at the time, and it was delayed. And then when it finally came in, I, it just sat there. And I now have another um, Sephora package coming because I ordered a lot of stuff from Sephora. And I tell you, it's a lot of new makeup that's out, and I got to play catch up on a lot of this makeup that's just now coming out. Y'all, I got to play a lot of ketchup. Or is this it? This it? This it? Oh, this is the one I ordered. Everything and then the can and, and and I got everything in a bag of chips. Okay, cause it's over there. That's why I already got y'all. Okay, girl, work with me. Work with me. Work with me. What did I get? What did I get? This is the package I got. I ordered everything and then some. I ordered everything and then some. I. What is this? I heard a lot of good things about this primer and I already like the other primer so I got the mattifying primer from one size beauty so I've heard a lot of good things about this mattifying primer for one size beauty and I do like the other primer it was at the secure yeah secure the blur this is the secure the sweat so I got this I also got this is one of these new blushes from Too Faced I got the Too Faced um what's this cloud crush blush the shade i got is watermelon rain so i got that with this let me see what this looks like see what this looks like yeah this is the packaging this is one of the new products from uh too faced i got that oh oh this smell good yeah this is the blush y'all oh that smell Y'all can see, ooh, with my messy stuff over there. Ooh, look at that. That is so pretty. Ooh, and it smells good. So I'm definitely going to be, you're going to be seeing me try this out from Too Faced. All right, I got a couple of things here. All of y'all been hollering about these things. How good it is. I'm going to put it to test, but I wanted to try this out. This is a cream to powder foundation from Fashion Fair. Um, I already have the foundation stick. I use the foundation stick like crazy. So I got the same shade I am in in their foundation stick, which is uh, Brown Sugar Babe. If you are familiar with Fashion Fair, it's like one of the, it's one of the OG black owned uh, makeup brands. Uh, from back in the day, I could get it from Dillard's or before then. If you lived here in Baton Rouge, you know about Maison Blanc's before that. It was Gauchos. Yeah, I got it from Gauchos. Fashion Fair. And I got a lipstick and a press powder. And we're talking about 30 years ago. Um, they really didn't have a lot of black makeup out um for black owned brands and fashion fair you had to go to the department stores there was no support at the time you had to go to the department store and get this so i got this from fashion fair and a lot of makeup i wear 
when I'm singing in church, it's fashion fair. When I'm um, when it's my time to sing on the worship team, it's from fashion fair. So I wear a lot of fashion fair makeup. All right, I got this. Yeah, I've been saying this is good, and and me, I wanted to try this because it is from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Halo. This is the Born This Way. Halo Glow Tinted Moisturizer, and this does have SPF 30. This is the same shade. I got the same shade I'm in in the foundation, um, which is Chai. And if you know me, you've been following me from my original channel for years, you know Too Faced is my all-time favorite foundation, hands down. You can't tell me nothing about the Too Faced foundation. And that was the rebrand of it when Jackie Ina did the shade extensions. I'm telling you, ever since then, and I've been loving that foundation ever since. And this is now, I'm about five years now. I still love that foundation. I'm since now getting me a re-up because I finally used up all my foundation. So, yeah, so this is the tinted moisturizer in the same shade. So, I, you know I'm going to try this out. Also, when we were in Chicago, I tried to get this foundation, and they didn't have my shade. They were sold out of my shade. Y'all have said so many good things about this foundation and concealer. However, I've also heard bad things about this foundation and concealer, particularly the shelf life on this foundation and concealer. So I'm talking about the foundation and the concealer from Kosas. I got both. What shade I got? The shade Neutral Olive. And in the concealer, I got 8W. Supposed to be medium. The concealer is supposed to be a medium deep with golden undertones. This is a neutral olive. I'm scared about this foundation because I am not of an olive. I don't have an olive undertone. I'm neutral, but I'm more neutral with a golden undertone. Um, So, I'm a little scared about these. But I heard the shelf life on these things is not that great because it goes bad pretty quickly so if i open this i might use this real fast so i am going to try this out i am planning a video for youtubers favorite makeup this is going to be part of my youtubers favorite makeup because y'all didn't say all kind of good things about this coast and stuff so we're going to put the coast to the test uh, another brand i've heard a lot of things about this is from the brand say i have this say glowy super skin um lightweight luminous foundation i got the foundation the shade i have is 29 that's the shade that i have and i got their say dewy blush in the shade chili so i did get that so i got all this so i'm gonna put this back in the box but i'm also gonna put it in my bin so all the makeup i need to try out i got makeup over there that um I need to bring over here that I got from the store inside of Sephora in Chicago and at the Mac store in Chicago as well. So I'm going to show you that as well. What's next? What's next? I'm telling you, I got so much stuff here. Um, you know what? Elf. Because I did get some things from Elf. I got a couple things from Elf. Alright, next is Elf. Again, a lot of stuff, it's just been sitting. I've been had this stuff. It's just been sitting. But I want to say these, this box I'm about to open, I think it's been sitting for almost a month. That's how long ago I ordered it. Because I want to say I got I ordered this before we left for Chicago. And we're about to go into June. So it's been sitting in the front for almost four weeks. So yeah. And I'm just now opening this package from elf this other package i got from elf it's a real it's an absolute real <clears throat> because i was i'm running out so i'm gonna show y'all that in a minute all right i got a lot of stuff from elf so i am going to be doing an elf makeup look featuring new elf products what is this all right i got a lot of elf so I'm finally going to try, and when I tell you this stuff has been sitting up here for a while, it's been sitting up here for a while, because I literally have not done nothing with this. Like, I ain't did nothing with a lot of this stuff. I'm telling you, this stuff has been sitting up in the front for about four weeks. I'm about right around a month. That's how long I've been sitting up there, for about a month. The second package from ELF 
I just got it. I just got it because I'm running out. Okay. Alright, so I got the new uh, this is the collab. This is limited edition. This is the Elf and American Eagle collab, the Denim Days eyeshadow palette. I got that. Mm, this is kind of flimsy. Got the denim jeans. <laughs> and then it's blue. I ain't all that big into a lot of blue eyeshadows, but for the sake of the video, I will probably do it. Because it's y'all. It's y'all. And I've heard some people like it and some didn't. So, you know, we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, What else did I get? I got a lot of stuff in here. And I got some new, and I got some free products um, as well. Um, is this that new lipstick they've been talking about? Because I think I did order the lipstick. To me, Elf has always had very good lipsticks. I've always liked their lipsticks. Yes, it is the new lipstick. This is the new Old Face Satin Lipstick. What shade I got? Drive. I got the shade Drive. So I did get the new lipstick. I also got the sponges, the beauty sponges from Elf. Elf makes some of the best sponges you need to get some sponges from elf but i did get the three pack of sponges i did get the lip yeah this is their lip lacquer this is one of the newer lip lacquers this is the shade fantasy because it's got that dot on there Oh, this is the shade Fantasy. That's what it is. It's the shade Fantasy. Can you focus, please? There it is. It's the shade Fantasy. It's their lip lacquer. They have very good lip lacquers. And this is actually like a re-up. Because the other lip lacquer, which was the clear lip lacquer from e.l.f., I ran out. I used it all up. Use it all up. What the heck is this? This is my free gift? This must be a free... I don't know what the heck this is. Yep. This is a free gift. This is their Holy Hydration. Keep the oh, this is their their toner. This is what this is. This is the toner. So this is one of my free gifts. Um, I also got oh yeah, they also sent me this as a free gift too. Okay, I might give this away. Um, this is the Elf Big Mood Mascara. I already have the mascara. I don't need two more. What is this? This is also the Elf Holy Hydration. Oh, this is their exfoliating, gentle peeling exfoliant. This was another free gift I got from Elf. Um, I also, these last two, y'all been hollering about how good this is. Are we going to find out? And I'm scared about this one. This is the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder. I don't like no glowy setting powders. But since y'all said this was so good, I'm going to try it out. I think this is supposed to be the deeper shade. Yeah, this is supposed to be, oh, medium beige. I'm scared already because you see how dark I am. And last but certainly not least, I finally got it, y'all. I finally got it. This is the Elf Whoa Glow 30 SP Elf. Um, this is their sunscreen and makeup primer. Y'all done talked about how good this is. We just going to find out. So I'm going to put all this stuff back. In the box, I am gonna separate. I said when I get new makeup, I separate it out from, and I have three bins. All the bins I have is stuff I get from Etsy. Then bins I um for the makeup I get from the actual either the drugstore, and um like from the actual brands. And then I have a bin for stuff I got from Sephora and Ulta. So I have everything separated out over there. So I'm gonna put this box over here. This is my other e.l.f. box. I just ordered this and it's only because it's a ring up. So I'm running out. As a matter of fact, I think one of them I got to throw away because I think it is pretty much empty. And so this kind of came just in time because I got to throw the other bottle away. And this is like a third time I'm re-upping on this. So this product is very, very good. I don't know if this, I haven't seen them in stores. And I don't think that, um, I don't think to sit with it. You have to go to the you have to go to L website to get this. 
because I haven't seen it. So if y'all see it in stores, let me know. I really like this product. Yes. Re-up. This is a definite re-up. I love this. This one in my bathroom. This is a re-up of the e.l.f. Um, blemish breakthrough system. This is the acne calming water cream. This is the water cream. This is so good. This is so good. This is also the e.l.f. Um, blemish breakthrough triple acid resurfacing serum. This is awesome. And this is the cleanser, the acne cl clarifying cleanser. This system is so good, particularly if you have breakouts or if you're dealing with acne issues or whatever. This system from e.l.f. is so good. I'm telling you, this is like my third or fourth time re-upping on this stuff. This is so good. And when I tell you whatever blemishes or whatever that you have, this will break it up. It, it will get it. It will definitely get it. That's one in my bathroom. And I actually think, like I said, one of them... I think it's empty and I want to say my cleanser is almost out but I think my serum I am literally like tipping the bottle trying to squeeze whatever out because I'm empty I'm literally okay so I'm done with the makeup yes I'm, no I'm not done with makeup I'm not. I halted my ipsy for a second because I have so much stuff I have so much stuff from ipsy I still haven't gone through and the last thing I got from Ipsy was when they did the collab with Bailey Sarian. Was it Bailey Sarian? I think it was Bailey Sarian. It was the last thing. It was the Bailey Sarian. And, um, oh, I got to look at that. And a lot of stuff that she had, I already had it. So, I might give that away too. I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. All right. So, what I got, see, this is another one. I got this over there. I didn't even wore the palette yet. And it's like, what? I got this again. What is this? Same here. Oh, no. I needed another one of these. This is a re-up. This is a re-up. This is the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte um, found, uh, Foundation. Soft Matte Primer. This is my re-up. I'm glad this is part of the Ipsy subscription for this month. I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm out. And then I'm almost out of the hydrating one. I'm almost out. So, this is technically a re-up. So, this was also that I chose. This was a body sculpt fit serum from a brand called Skin Ink Supplement Bar. This was also in my Ipsy. I got that. Um, I got this over here. I ain't even opened it yet. I got another eyeshadow palette from um, Anastasia, Beverly, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Modern Renaissance. I got the palette over there. I haven't even worn it yet. So, I got two of these palettes. That's why... I had kind of halted um, Ipsy because I'm starting to get repeat stuff. Um, this is, oh, this open. This is from Kate Somerville. This is the Skin Hell, what is this? Dry Skin Save. Oh, this is a face moisturizer. So, Kate Somerville is very, very good. It's also kind of pricey. But I got this. So I have the night cream I wear from Kate Somerville. I'm almost out. So, and what else did I get? I got a lot of stuff. This is also, oh no, this is, oh, I got Pat McGrath. This is the Liquid Lust. This is the Matte Lipstick. Yeah, I got Pat McGrath. This is, that was awkward to see. I was like, they got Pat McGrath? What? Which shade did I get? Nude Amour. I got Nude Amour. But it's more like a berry shade. We'll see. I keep it. And I usually don't give it away because I automatically keep um Pat McGrath. What else did I get? Um, what is this? Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's another re up. This is their her um this the concealer. I have this concealer already. I'm not gonna open it. Well you know what? Yeah, let me see. Is this the same one? Yeah, I'm gonna give this away. I have this concealer already. It's a good concealer. I haven't worn it in a while. This is the ABH concealer. It's number 18. I want to say that's the shade I have back there. It's 18. So I'm probably gonna give that away. I don't need that. 
Oh, I got a. Uh, this is. Oh, I got an eyeliner from Too Faced. I never tried an eyeliner from Too Faced, so I'm gonna try, I might try this out. Not big on eyeliner, but I have eyeliner. Last is the. What is this? A brand. What is this called? This is an eye brightening serum. I got this. Eh, I might try it. I don't know. So I got a lot of stuff. More than likely, I'm about to give away. Because I already have it. Alright, so that's that. The last package I'm not going to show y'all because it is part of Vam Cosmetics. And it's some re-up. Some, um things I was out of on my website and I'm not going to open that package in front of y'all I will open that package later I'm not going to open it right now um, I did, here's another Amazon package ooh, I know what this is I know exactly what this is this is for my nails yes when I do poly gel this is the two-sided um, brush. That's what I got. This is the brush. Um, if this is the dual-ended poly gel brush and pick, that's what it is. Um, Cause if you like me and you get all and you do your own nails at home, um, I, I, I order a lot of my nail supplies on Amazon, or from time to time I go to the nail um, to the nail store, to the, um, hair store and get nail products, but a lot of it I got from Amazon, so it's just the brush, the dual side brush and picker, um, to do, um, poly gel. Yeah, that's what this is. So, on this end, it's the brush, and on this end, it's the picker. So, that's what it is. So, I got two of them. I'm going to put it with my um, nail supply stuff. So that's what this is. I kind of, I, I needed this. So this is definitely a need. Um, Because I bought something from the hair store. And it's really not for picking um, up poly gel. So I ordered it from Amazon. My battery life is going down already. Oh my goodness. Really? I hadn't too long taking it off the battery charger. I don't know why it's going down. I don't know why. Alright, almost done. This is another package from Amazon. I did order some nail stuff, but I also got some more um, home goods. Some stuff for home, home decor stuff, rather. Home goods. Home decor. So let me think of Ooh, yes! I was looking for this. This is from Morvan. This is their acrylic nail system that's what i got it's from the brand morvon i got that because i do my nails at home so let's see what we got oh okay oh yes so oh it's small okay so it comes with the nail file here it is this is my nail file um the nail oh, okay got stuff on the back got the nail file I got the brushes for the monomer, the acrylic and the monomer. Um, I got some nail forms. I got that. And then it's got a dampened dish. I needed a dampened dish. I got one. I bought a dish from uh, Dollar Tree. So it comes with a dampened dish. It has the monomer and then it has the three colors. Um, I think this is, they're all matte. What clear? This is white. This is the pink. This is supposed to be clear. Yes. So here it is. It's how it comes. This is the clear, the pink, and then it's the white. You got your monomer and then a different dish. So cool. And I was kind of running out of my um my other acrylic I have and monomer. I'm running out. And I thought the monomer would be bigger, but it's small. But okay. I can make it do what I'm gonna have to just order some more monomer or get the one reorder the one I already have get the same brand it's kind of lasting me a little while but I'm glad I got those brushes because um, my other brushes are kind of so 
funny and crazy. But I never use the nail forms. I've seen them on YouTube use the nail forms. So I might try acrylic with nail forms. It's just that sometimes acrylic can be a little hard to get off. And I don't want to deal with acrylic. But at the same time, there'll be times I don't want to deal with jet with, with, with the nail glue. So yeah. So that's what this Oh, and it comes with um has a manual. User manual. Oh. Yeah, it comes with a manual, too, so it has a um, user manual. Yep, you got all the instructions on how to do your acrylic. I'm going to open this last one because the other one I'm not going to open in front of y'all um, because that is for my business for Vamp Cosmetics. This is Sephora. Got that. And I think this is the rest of my home decor stuff, so this is pretty big. It's a pretty big box. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. Yeah, I got a pretty big box. This is Amazon. Should have did that because I don't need y'all seeing my address. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Ah. My daughter is going to be a food, y'all. I'm getting hungry. All right, last one. The last other one I'm not gonna put in front of y'all. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Here is my shower caddy. Yes, my shower caddy came in. Yes, I gotta put it together. Gotta put it together. So, this is a shower caddy. You hang it up, uh, on, you mount it on your shower wall on the tile, and this is how it looks. So, we need one bad. We need one because I call myself trying to put like little trays and stuff in the bathroom for me and my husband and it ain't working y'all it, it ain't working so i told my husband i had ordered one of these and he was like hey whatever we can get or whatever try to lower some of that clutter out the bathroom so i got a shower caddy um here's my rug that i was telling y'all about so i got a new bathroom rug so we got a new rug it's from the band olaney microfiber bath rug Bath rug for our bathroom because the rug we have now I got it while the last final days of Sears before it closed. <laughs> I got some okay, I got some nail glue. I got some nail glue. I can never go wrong without nail glue. And I got some more Vaughn. This is oh for nail art. This is some professional nail system. Perfect to do various nail art designs. Okay, this is another nail kit from a brand from the brand Morvan. So let me open it and see what this is. And then I'm about to eat. Cause my daughter got me hungry. Cause I never could get enough of nail stuff. Um, I think I ordered. What did I order? ordered some other stuff but i'm gonna put it together oh i have it in my on my list in my list on amazon and i'm gonna order those because i really want to organize our stuff for me and my husband so yeah this is from the brand morvon What's this? i forgot what it is i'll tell you a lot of this stuff it's just been sitting up front i ain't only touched it it's been sitting up front all this time i ain't touched it what is this Oh, yes, 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 yes. I forgot I ordered this. Yes. Finally, finally got it. This is the nail hydrator and the nail primer. That's what I ordered. Yes, this nails, my nails are busted. Because I've had them for, and they're starting to come up a little bit. I've had them for two weeks now. But yeah, this is what it is. This is the primer and the, de and the, and the nail dehydrator. That's what this is definitely needed that because I do not have a primer or a dehydrator so to dehydrate my nails I've been using either acetone or I use um alcohol that's what I've been using alcohol I mean using the alcohol to dehydrate um my nails so and then I got the yeah like I said got nail glue so that is it with this I'll tell you I I, I got a nice little haul for y'all. I got an Amazon haul, got a little Sephora, got some EFC, got some Elf. Yeah, I got a haul for had a nice little haul. Now that last package I'm not gonna open in front of y'all because it is from my brand, Vamp Cosmetics. So I'm not gonna open that in front of you guys. So I am about to go charge this thing up. I don't know why the battery is trying to die. And yeah. 
I knew you was coming in here. I heard your your feet. I'm not on the phone with no one. I'm vlogging, girl. I'm about to give me some food because you're making me hungry, chick. Man, that kitchen's smelling cool. good. I'm sitting here like oh. you leave the door open because like you you got me starving, man. Chicken. chicken, chicken, chicken the, uh, you got the burgers. Man, that burger looking good. I'm trying to eat one. Eat one, but I'm away. Yeah, because I saw you just cut off the baked beans. Yeah. The, you put the hot dogs on there? Not yet. I put, his, I put a brat on there. Please put that man brats on there because yeah, if you don't put them brats on there, on we'll it. never hear the end of that story about them brats. Yeah, I got, I got one on there. Okay. Because uh, it was like, don't do like me and put a fork. I was like, I'm going to make sure it's cooked. I know I he ain't talking. He ain't talking. Huh? I know he ain't telling you that. Yeah, he was like, excuse me. I so I make sure it's cooked. I took a knife on both sides. And make sure it was cooked. Yeah. I, said, I don't do the brats. Not on the grill. I like the way he cooking on the stove. Right. I can't do it on the grill. I, I can't. I never had no brat on the grill. I don't want no brat. I tried the brat on the grill. I can't do it. That's why I got them sausage. You put sausage in the uh, jambalaya? Yes, you did. Because that's all you do. It. Never mind. I don't know why I asked that dumb ass I'll question. I put the, the smoked sausage on there. Not the ones that I'm gonna put on the grill. With the, you uh, put the other sauces in the jar. Yeah. All right. Jambalaya done. Are you serious? Yeah. All right. I'm about to go give me some food, y'all, because this girl got this whole house lit up with barbecue. Huh? I did something wrong, but you gotta try it. What you mean you did something wrong? I don't know. I think I did something wrong. With the jambalaya? Yeah. What you mean? You followed the instructions? The rice is fluffed up? Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna look at it. All right. I'm finna get some food. My daughter did that. She did that. She did that. You did that. Thank you. She did that. Well, I'm about to throw this away. God, y'all, she did that jump alive. And you got a kick to it. Woo, it's got a kick! Woo, 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 woo! It's got a kick! Mmm! Y'all. Who grew up? Who grew up? Mm-hmm. I'm feeling so y'all. I'm feeling so y'all. Mm-hmm. 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 We did it. We did it. She did better than me. Got barbecue there. Look at She did better than me, y'all. She did better than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one more. Oh, yeah, you got the sausage cooked good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna okay, stay out. I'm gonna stay out of it. Cause you ain't having no dirt out of it. You ain't having no dirt out of it. You ain't having no dirt out of it. Mm hmm. The cook. She did that. Yep, still not done. Burgers, put the brats on. And my daughter always holler. Mama, I can't cook. Mama, I can't. Oh, here we go. Now I'm in the light. Um, she always say, Mama, I can't cook. Hey. <laughs> she cooks. She's doing the cooking today back there. Because y'all ain't going to have to jump a lot of them. I'm about to give me a hamburger now. Y'all shouldn't did them hamburgers. Why you chopped it up? Huh? Oh, well. I'm, I'm about to give me a hamburger. Keep it um, fresh. And they ain't got no flies, huh? Because, you know, flies smell barbecue. That's it, girl. Flies outside. She lit the pit herself. She learned from the best. She learned from her mama. She lit that pit by herself. Did everything by herself. Tell you. I ain't gonna bring no more jam a lot of them. Mm-mm. I'm gonna go one more. Mm-mm. I'm gonna go. Mm-mm. 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 What? She did that. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go eat because this camera keeps getting dark. It's kind of like a shade, but I'm about to eat my hamburger. Clear off my bed. I'm about to eat. Good morning. It is several days later.
<clears throat> it is Friday. I'm getting ready to go to work. And then after work, I am going to meet the ladies to go out to eat and have some drinks. So I'm bringing y'all with me to work. So I'm about to put, I started it. I'm about to put my shoes on right quick and I'm about to go get in my car right quick. Waiting on my daughter. I know she ready because it's time to go and I want me some breakfast this morning, but I want something a little light because the lunch I'm having today at work, I saw on Major Menus, oh, one of my favorite Greek Lebanese restaurants. I know. And then we're going for Mexican and I'm not really big on Mexican food, but I'm going to go anyway for the drinks. So yeah, I'm about to go put on my shoes and I'm about to get in my car. So I will see you in my All right, make sure I have y'all position. I'm waiting on my daughter. She late, y'all. She late. And we're supposed to leave and get breakfast. I'm sitting in the car waiting on her. She is slow. So I'm going to have to hate to break it to her. She ain't going to be getting no breakfast. Because we are past time. So, I don't know what she's doing. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm waiting on her. I'm going to drop her off at her job. And then I'm going into work. Um, I will be at work all day, so I'm going to bring y'all in. I'm probably going to talk to y'all at my lunch break. Um, and yeah, <laughs> um, also it is June 2nd, and <laughs> I kind of have to laugh because I had to do a damn. Um, tomorrow, yesterday was June 1st, and if you live in the South, particularly in a Gulf state like we do. It, it, yesterday was the start of hurricane season and just at fast there's a tropical depression in the Gulf of Mexico oh there's my daughter and I don't know if my husband knows this I told my daughter when she about to come in the car you late Ooh, she red y'all she is red <laughs> you can't say nothing it's seven fifty, ma'am. Oh, you took too. I'm seeing waiting on you. I didn't take that long. It's girl, it's seven fifty. We're gonna have to see how the drive through looks. So otherwise, if it's too long, I can't help you. Well, let's go right now. And you gonna talk about me being late, girl? That's you not late. You gonna make me late? I am late. Well, hurry up. Uh, again, you gonna make me late. Mm -hmm. You always do when you running like this. I'm not running behind though, I swear to God. Cause you on barber time. I'm not a barber. I have to be at work at a certain time, ma'am. 8.30. Yeah, and by the time I get there dealing with you, it's gonna be 8.40. I know. I know. Yeah, anyway, before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> Yeah, it's June 1st. It starts the hurricane season. I haven't heard nothing else about that tropical depression. It's supposed to develop into a tropical storm today. But we not. Some, that's why it's supposed to rain this weekend. I guess we're supposed to get some effects from the tropical storm. But it's really going to hit uh, Florida because it's right below Alabama. That's where it's at. I'm going to track it when I get to work this morning. That's why I'm bright. Shine bright like a diamond. And I got the Y chromosomes in there sleep. Mm -hmm. I say bye. Okay, love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so see, yeah, this is what I go through with this girl every morning. Every morning. So, yeah, we're about to see if we can get breakfast. And <laughs> you done? No, she ain't. She grooming. Okay, we're going to see if we can get breakfast, and then I will talk to y'all on my lunch break.
I am on my lunch break. Um, I still have a few minutes left before um, I open my door and finish up the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, I got a couple of things done off of that. I'm doing this, y'all. My head is itching so bad. It's itching. These braids are coming off, coming out Sunday. I, I can't deal with the braids, y'all. I can't deal with the braids. These nails are coming off Sunday as well. I'm probably gonna take these nails off while I'm watching a basketball game. Um, but yeah, um, it's pretty quiet because it's a Friday. A lot of people are not here. Um, and then it's payday Friday on top of that. So yeah, it's pretty doggone quiet. <laughs> but I had too long, I ate my lunch. I am kind of full, but not too, too full. We are still going out for drinks later so when i leave here i got one stop to make and then i'm gonna meet them um at the restaurant so yeah we're gonna have us some fun it's friday man cold just hit my teeth and i felt the cold and my bottom teeth hurt <laughs> you hate when that chill hits I, 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 ooh, that hurts <clears throat> But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, um, it's pretty quiet. There's not much going on here today. Um, I'm going to leave, like I say, run this errand, and then um, I'm going to meet them at the restaurant, and then that's that. And then tomorrow, uh, I have an event with the church. I'm going to church Sunday, and afterwards, I am going to, again, take these off, take this hair down, and I'm just going to relax and get ready for um, the next week. So, yeah. So, I'm actually going to end the vlog here. Vlog is a little all over the place. I probably might get some shots of us at the restaurant. Um, but I may record it from my phone. So, I, that's, that's probably what I may end up doing. Is just get some shots of us at the restaurant. Or me on the way to the restaurant. And that's that. So with that being, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.